Hello again, everyone. It's Bob Martin, the RC Sub Guy with the Nautilus Dry Dogs, here with His Majesty Jason. And um, it's Wednesday, but uh, it's the end of the week for me because I'm going on vacation uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Um, so it's the end of the week and time for an update video. Uh, obviously, Jason's still going to keep working. Um, but I figured since I was here, I would let you know what we've been uh, up to here at the dry dock. So uh, let's get to it. Hey, first off, since he's holding it there, um, this is not what we're going to end up doing, but it is nonetheless a project that we picked up. So. Uh, customer of ours really, 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 really wants a big RC shark. Um, this file was one of the first that I found. Um, it is completely messed up. And so what I actually did, I went back to the file that I created for my little 19 inch shark, which is scale for my Orca from Jaws. And uh, that is printing now. And we're going to cut to that on the printer. His head is almost done. It's at like 84%. Um, it's going to be a lot of printing. Um, it'll probably take another couple of weeks before it's all done, but um, we're printing up the hull. We're not doing the full RC thing, unfortunately, but uh, he gets to tackle that and we get to put the hull together for him. So that is going on right now. Um, Jason's been busy with Oscar back there. Um, that, I think, just needs butter on one side, right? Yeah, I, uh, I got to flip it over and then the nose, and I'll be done with that. Yeah, finally. Then I got to sand it. Yeah. So that is uh, almost done. We uh, worked on a putting a kit permit kit together. So this is Matt Thor's um, permit kit. These are absolutely gorgeous. If you guys haven't played with these on my website, um, Matt does a superb job in layout. These are really, really nice quality. Um, it's a 96 scale permit and the customer just got us to put together the uh, control surfaces. So we did all of the rudders, the dive planes, the um, propeller shafts, uh, all of that stuff is done. And uh, that gets paired up with the cylinder that we just tested today. Um, I think we're just waiting for a little repair to kick off and then this will be all done and that can get shipped out. Um, Collins. We did Collins on Friday. And boxed it Monday? Boxed it on Monday. So that's gone. Um, got a customer who wants us to print him out a Collins. I'm not a 3D print shop. I'm not super excited about that because my printers are usually going like all, almost all the time. Um, but hey, money's money. We Take can, it. We can hoard ourselves out every once in a while. Um, and what else we got going on? Arethus, finally back on the bench. So, um, let's see here. So, we're working on Arethus. I'm cleaning up some seams uh, in here, but you can see this like custom prop that I built for it here. And, oh, you can't see anything because it's all like glued together. But there's the dive planes, those stupid dive planes. Um, the way this thing works is to go up, this side extends, and to go down, this side extends. Um, the linkage for that is nothing but a headache. Um, I'm not super excited that I even took this project on, to be brutally honest with you. But hey, it is nonetheless going to end up being cool. Um, it is really unique. Um, it's uh, going to get worked on uh, in earnest uh, again next week. Uh, I want to get this thing gone. It's got a three and a half inch OTW dive module that's going in. Jason worked on that this week. You remember everything that's going in that, Jason? Uh, we put a switch. We put, uh, I had to put some new servos in. What else did we do to this thing? Oh, we're gonna. There's gonna oh, be a pitch. Gonna, yeah, there's gonna be a pitch. But we're gonna replace the the, the dive module. Dive maybe. Module. I'm just. We're concerned that this ballast tank may not have the capacity needed 
to float this at the designed water line because these OTW units, especially this one, because this is a sealed tank, will only fill to about halfway. So um, we may vent it. Um, we'll see. We'll figure out what we're going to do once we get a little bit further along and do some trim tests. Play around with that. Arathus, French boat, those crazy Frenchmen. I do like the stern. The stern is pretty cool. That's about all I could say about that boat. <laughs> all right. Um, oh, we also finished up today uh, a video highlighting uh, a video <laughs> highlighting um, all the different kinds of perforations that people like to put in their watertight cylinders. So we've got like the test hoses, the gigahertz antennas, bullet connectors, waterproof connectors, wire connectors, um, XT30 connectors. Um, I'm gonna try and get that edited up and uploaded well, maybe tonight, but probably tomorrow. Maybe not. I may not have time to get it done until I get back, in which case it'll be next Wednesday. But we did that this week, so it still counts. Um, if you're interested in taking a look at that, look for that uh, on my channel. I think we're going to end out the week with um, what we what we call, maybe it'll be a new series. We should continue like an ongoing thing. Sketchy shit Sketchy that we shit do at work. work. Um, so if you guys follow the channel, you'll have seen I got a couple of projects, um, namely a Vietnam attack boat. Uh, called a Zippo and uh, a scale RC Keaton Batmobile from the 1989 movie. Both of those have something in common. Fire. Fire. We need fire. So uh, I'm going to play with something that I don't get to play with in the world of RC submarines, and that is uh, flamethrowers. So we played around with that. We made a little video. Um, I think we've come up with a game plan. So look for that to drop here uh, fairly soon as well. Um, but that's enough for three days. We got a lot done. Uh, I'm off. I'm out. Um, if you need me, you can shoot me an email. I do not guarantee that I will get back to you. Oh, who am I kidding? Of course I'll get back, but maybe not right away. Um, but I'll be back in the shop on Wednesday. So, with that, Bob Martin, RC sub guy, and Jason. you guys uh, have a great rest of your week, and we'll catch you next time.